Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm reviewing the ATST Raider. This set retails for $49.99 US and comes with $540. I bought this at Target for $39.99 on Black Friday. Uh, so I got a good deal on it. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna start off with the figures. And then I'm going to review the actual Raider ATST. So these are the figures for the ATST. It comes with a a Clatonian Raider here. Um, comes with another Clatonian Raider, and then it comes with the Mandalorian, of course, and then Cara Dune. So. I'll start off with the Raiders, the whatever you call them. I'm a fan of the show, but I it's in one episode you see this, so the Clatonian Raiders. So for each of the figures you get a weapon and they kinda all look the same with I'll put them aside, but I'll show you them. It's basically just a weapon with a brown lightsaber piece. And for the actual figure, they have both the same face. You have this Ultron. Um, not sure if that piece is just used for Ultron, but this piece is for like a neck piece over there. And then you have some uh, chest printing, torso, and on the back as well. And then for the legs, it kind of like goes with it. It connects. So there's no back face. It's kind of just a nicely detailed figure. And uh, for the next one, it comes with these two handguns, which you don't have to use. They're kind of not supposed to be weapons, but I guess they use them for this one. With this one, he has a shoulder pad with some spikes on it. Um, a helmet here. No, the same face, so no other face to it. Same, well, almost the same body printing, torso. And the legs are the same. The back is different as well. No arm printing. And uh, those are the... Clatonian Raiders. I'll start with the Kara Dune with a weapon that looks also like the Mandalorian's weapon, which I'm pretty sure this is a new, a new weapon. Um, again, this is a silver lightsaber piece and with a kind of a sniper looking gun there. And for the actual figure, there's two faces to it. You have the angry face, and you also have the happy face there. Um, some nice facing. The face prints are nice. Uh, you have that mark on her face, the beauty mark. Some nice body printing, torso, and on the back as well. Uh, kind of bland there, but kind of goes with what you see in the show. The legs are a darkish blue with some light blue on the top and some uh, some nice molded stuff on the legs. And for the main attraction of this set, we have the Mandalorian. Uh, he has for his weapon, he has what he uses for all the sets. A handgun that Han Solo uses, a lightsaber piece that's brown, and then one of these claw pieces, which you're gonna see on all of the sets he's in. Um, so those are the weapons. It comes with a lot, actually. And there's another one in the actual ATST. Um, so for the Mandalorian, he has some nice leg printing, no arm printing, and no side leg printing, but it's still detailed, very nice. Uh, the legs look good, rusty. Um, he should have had the armor from 
because he gets them in the first episode, I think, or second. He gets that armor. I forgot what it's called, but uh, you get it. Um, if you watch the show, you know what I'm talking about. For the back, even though you don't see it too much, you still get some nice back printing. Uh, you could use that. That even looks good as the front printing. Uh, even though you don't see it, and uh, with the cape, it's still nice for detail. And uh, it's a new piece, I'm pretty sure, for... Not a piece. It's a new... Whatever they call it. It's a new cape piece. It's smaller than the other cape pieces. Except it has... It's smaller and... Yeah, it, it kind of doesn't feel as rough as they used to. Uh, for the helmet, it's just the regular Mandalorian helmet and no face. So, uh, for the ATST, I will review right now ATST right here, which is a nice build. Um, compared to the box, it's, uh, Pretty good size, not too, eh, I don't know. It's kind of small for how big the box is, but um, I guess that's what they always do. So, um, has a lot of stickers to it, um, but there are always lots of stickers to these sets. I'm not surprised. I don't think you should, guys should be. Um, have, starting from the legs, you have three stickers on each foot. You have one sticker here, 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 one sticker here. Which, they look detailed enough, but, I mean, still could have been printed for the foot. Um, but, uh, yeah. Going up here, you have these stickers as well, which these connect, and you got some bullet marks or something there. And for the side, it's red and brown. Uh, going up, you have these wires, which give some detail to it, uh, which I like that. Also for these legs, this is actually a nice detail as well. You have this for the leg, which makes it look like those are part of the like, mechanic thing. I don't know. Um, going up here, you still have some more stickers for these. And you have four of those because they're also on the other side. Another sticker there, sticker there, sticker there, sticker there, sticker here. And on the other side, you have another sticker right there. And sticker, sticker. Stickers even on the back where you don't even look. Uh, you can move the legs uh, easy like that, which make it like taller. Uh, gonna wanna be careful with that because it might tip over because it has a lot of head weight and not too much weight on the back. So uh, yeah. Um, even have some like nice details on the back, like with this. I like that. Um, you have some like guns over here, missiles, and an actual uh, missile, or whatever you call this right here, these. And you could shoot them with this right here, you know, push that down and it shoots it that, you know, uh, you also have this play feature, where this, every time you move this, the head moves like this, which is nice, uh, it's a nice play feature, um, and for the head, you have a little hatchet right here which you can open up so the figure can go down there you can't put your fingers through that so they made it where you can open that whole thing up and access the interior you have a sticker right here which 
it's kind of put like really crooked. Um, you have a spot to place your weapon right here. Uh, you have the seat which you can put a raider there, like so. He fits in there right, and you can just close it back up. And yeah, that's really it for the raider. Um, for the uh, what my thoughts on the set. Um, so this is a fifty dollar set. Comes with five hundred forty pieces. Um, compared to other Star Wars sets, that's a pretty good deal. Good thing I got it on sale, though. Uh, for 40 bucks, which I think... I can't see the price being $40, but for 50 I guess it's a good deal. Uh, it's not a bad amount. I mean, they got a good figure selection. A lot of... Uh, stickers, not a lot of big pieces to it, but I mean, it's got the right amount of st uh, pieces. So I think the, uh, I think it's, the value is good for what you're getting. Compared to the box, it's, they're kind of like, I don't know if, that's it's kind of small compared to the box. You would think it's bigger, but if you see the box, it's it's a lot bigger than the actual set. So I would keep that in mind if you want to pick up the set. The figures are good. They all are nice figures. They all have leg printing. Um, they're all, I'm pretty sure the only figure that's not exclusive is the Mandalorian. So this is a good set. I would pick it up if it's on sale. It's smaller than you think, but uh, yeah, it's a good set. I'll give it a six out of 10 or seven, seven out of 10, yeah. All right, I'll see you in the next video. It's gonna come up soon. I've been busy lately, so that's why I haven't been posting. But, uh, next set is going to be, I don't know, maybe the, that set right there, or the Shrimp Shack. Uh, but it'll come out today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.